Hello, welcome back to the workshop. New project this week, first video for quite a long time. Uh, it's going to be the Stuart number no. 9 steam engine. We're going to attempt to build it from castings, a very old set of castings, vintage Stuart castings. I don't know when they were bought, probably 1960 or something like that. I've got them on eBay. Um, big flywheel. Um, that's the base. This is, a, this is the piston, uh, the cylinder rather, and that will be an inch and a half. So pretty much a, 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 a real working steam engine when it's finished and a very beautiful engine when they're made well. And hopefully we can do a good job. This is, this is the most difficult casting. I think there's, there's, there's very little to hang on to in the milling machine or the lathe to get this right and I'm quite nervous about that. I've been thinking about that for a long time, how I'm going to tackle this project. Here we, um, are. Here we are with all the, uh, the parts laid out so you can get a better idea what they look like. You can see the, the um, on this piston, you can, on this cylinder, you can see that the steam ways are actually cast in. So that's very good. Uh, they're a little bit rusty, they've been, no fettling done, they're exactly as they came from the manufacturer. All right, well the first job is usually to start at the, uh, the ground and work up and this is the first casting so what I have to do is clean this up with a file and uh, get it to sit flat. I'll use this uh, surface plate here, flat surface, and uh, take out the high spots That's pretty good. Yep. I've got some of this blue bearing blue here. I'm going to put that on the on the surface plate so I can see where my high spots are. The old roller. There we see. There's the uh, see the high spots. Right, we've got quite a lot of blue showing on there now, and it sits quite sits uh, without any rocking on the surface plate. So now we're going to put it on the surface grinder, we use that as the reference surface, and we'll, we'll uh, clean up the top, and then we can flip it over and clean this up properly on the surface grinder. Okay, so this is my surface grinder, and the first thing. Uh, it's always a good idea to do is to dress the wheel and to do that we use this little diamond here and make sure that the vise is on and that the um, we passed halfway there and uh, we turn it on turn on the vacuum oh. plug in the vacuum Put on hearing protection.
Okay, so that's the top of the base done. Turn the magnet off, pop that off. And we've got a beautiful, beautiful machined surface there, cleaned up nicely. Now we'll pop it back down, do the other side. Okay, Looks pretty good. Well, there we go. Not bad. There's a bit of fettling required on that surface. I think that'll be all right once it's painted. There's Top is nice and flat, it comes up pretty well on the surface plate. So that's part number one, just four holes to go in there and some holes in the top, which I'll do after I've made the mating part. And the next part we have to make, I don't know what you call this part, transom maybe. So that's going to be really hard. I think the first thing to do is to get the bottom sitting flat. And then I can clamp that down in the milling machine and get in there with an end mill and clean up that face. Then maybe I can, um, I might be able to um, see how I feel, but I might be able to clamp that down and and come back and finish that off with with the grinder or with an end mill get it really nice and flat okay I've uh, filed the base as flat as I can get it and now I've clamped it in the milling machine level with the bed and I'm going to clean up this face here attempt to see how it goes mm -hmm. Now I have nicked that edge, that shoulder there, which I didn't want to do, but it's not too bad. Now hopefully if I can clamp on that face, I might be able to clean up the other side. Okay, this is what we call stunt milling. So we're using that flat surface, one, two, three block, and some adjustable parallels uh, to, as basically as machinist jacks. Alright, well uh, they came out pretty well, I think uh, it should be good enough, 
and next time we'll put a bit more work onto the sole plate and machine out uh, these bearings and the interface for the cylinder. So I uh, look forward to seeing you again and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.